What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this another edition of Cub Reacts requested today. We're getting into a track that I've been meaning to get into for a hot period of time. I've seen it pop up on the channel numerous times in the uh, comment sections and the requested sections. Finally, we are getting around to this one. Portable alongside Poco Lee and Olamide with Zazu Zen. Now, as far as I'm aware, there are going to be a couple of language barriers on this one, so I do apologize in advance. I'm not going to be able to translate or anything. We're here to examine the sonics and the kind of musical arrangement of the tune more than anything else. Uh, again, from what I'm seeing, Portable looks like he's definitely one of the names on the come up right now. So yeah, we're going to jump right into this one. I'm looking forward to it. As always, if you are new to the channel, though, please make sure you are hitting that subscribe button, turning notifications on, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all of that good stuff. Without further ado, then, let's jump right into this one. <laughs> Might be the most basic thing I've ever said on this channel. I like the font. I like the font. Two two three two. Zazu. I mean, right from the jump with this, uh, the energy level looks like it's going to be a highly contested one. So much kind of, uh, so much kind of potency in the instrumental right from the jump. Again, the video looks like it's got quite a high budget. We're seeing a lot of extras involved already. Um, again, the sort of uh, call and response style of the vocals from the beginning. This is sounding lively, man. I'm looking forward to seeing where this one goes. Party time, baby. <laughs> Badu snare, uh? pepe snare, many many with the one leg, huh, request it. Again, it's annoying that we've got the language barrier, but I'm going to try my best, people. Badu Lee, P Prime, give me the bed, huh, bad bed jet, as a rail with hip hop. I'm liking this again, call and respond thing we're getting from Olamide here, man. I'm loving the, uh, the 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 approach to this video so far. It's a very high budget video by the looks of things. It looks like a lot of effort actually went into the creation of the video as well. I'm loving the uh, the instrumental structure as well. Those tripleted kind of pieces of percussion really punching through. Um, on top of that as well, you've got these really kind of, uh, uh, again, kind of widened vocals in the background that are giving it that sense of depth. And again, the little uh, kind of plucked guitar line running throughout the middle as well. Uh, there's a lot of energy involved in this I can see there's definitely going to be dance routines in the video. Um, when I say um, it's annoying, there's a language barrier. It's annoying that I can't speak. Um, I, I can't speak numerous languages. All I can speak is English. It's terrible for me, but unfortunately, I've, I've tried and I, I'm stuck in this scenario. So Keep up, bitch. I've been going non stop. Huh, Zazu, she, Aka, Ika, Tesoje, Tesoje, Bita Laga, Gaza, Eja Luji Bita Bacha. Runjukpa. This is sick, man. Lujukpa. I can imagine this doing absolute bits. Like on, a, on a kind Daju. of live performance level, I reckon this one would do absolute bits. Just because of the uh, the kind of intensity of those drums. Again, we haven't got rolling kicks yet. We've literally just got one kind of booming, very uh, very kind of encapsulating 808 stab at the, at the start of each um, at the start of each uh, bar phrase. You've just got this kind of... Do, 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 do. That's literally the entirety of uh, of what the instrumental's doing. The rest of it is, again, these really nice kind of almost spoken word sounding vocals over the top. Um, again, I'm sure there are so many sort of genre brackets and boundaries that I'm not going to know um, that I probably should know. Um, so again, let me know in the comments section down below. Where can I find more, um, more more kind of stuff on this exact type of vibe? That's what I'd like to know. We'll wake up. Zazu, pizza, pizza, poco tua. On my way to Ilua, I want to live with the Martin Bocadio. Oh, come up by the Colu. You come up, Bocadio. Oh, so don't borrow. Let me go to the Colu. Zazu, poco tua. I do music for living. Again, I'm loving the, um, the electronic element on the voice. It's so. I don't know, there's something so enjoyable about it that we're hearing. There's something so enjoyable about the fact that it almost sounds dissonant. It almost sounds like it's off, but it's not. It's just in um, um, harmonically. You know, It's not like out of key or anything like that, but the way it just kind of drifts just on the edge. It's so pleasing sonically to listen to, man. Again, I'm loving the sort of circle we're getting from the video. Um, I'm loving how many people are involved in the video as well. This is a really cool approach, man. Again, I can understand why so many people wanted me to actually get the reaction done for this one. Apologies, it's taken so long as well. I do apologize. <laughs> Loving 
Again, what I'll say, <laughs> right from the jump on this, this video looks like it would have been very fun to be a part of. The amount of people involved, the amount of kind of like dance circles and things like that, that's what I feel you want to see um, from a music video. You want to see the energy, you want to see that sort of public involvement as well. It's something I always like to see from a fan's perspective. Um, and again, just the uh, that booming 808 at the start of each thing is pretty much driving the entire tune forward. It's crazy how actual minimal the instrumental is. You've literally got a couple of tripleted kind of percussive patterns, a couple of individual stabs, that sort of lead guitar line and then you've got this kind of constantly shifting sense of uh, percussive addition above whether it be shakers or um, other little sort of stabs that are going on it's constantly evolving which is what's driving it forward alongside the anime it's both of them to be honest with you this is so sick bro there's something so charming um, about the way the tune's been arranged as well. They've kept it minimal. They've kept it sounding quite organic. They haven't gone OTT with kind of uh, over-processing or over-sampling anything. They've kept it very natural sounding, and that's why the rhythm is so impactful. I feel when you almost go too over the top on um, electronic alterations of rhythm, that's when you start to lose the human element. You start to lose the thing that people enjoy to interact with. I feel with this, they've done a, uh, a really good job of keeping that sense of uh, organic fun more than anything else. It sounds like a fun tune. Bro, like it sounds like a party tune again. I want to play hear this one played in a dance. I want to see the uh, the dance circles that formed. It's crazy. Again, yeah, 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 how yeah, minimal yeah. that guitar line is that's running throughout the middle of the tune, bro. It's crazy how it's literally not intense. It's not like an intense guitar line at all. It's literally just... It's literally just like a, like three notes at most that's giving the tune the majority of its melody. The rest of the melody from the tune is literally coming from that lead vocal line that, um, again, slightly electronically altered with the auto tune, which is kind of dragging it back into place. And it's, it's weird. There's so much dissonance, and yet it's not dissonant. There's so much kind of... Uh, it feels so complete and yet so minimal at the same time. On a production level, it's really, really cool. It's very unique. I've got to say, what I've liked about what I've heard from Portable so far is definitely there is a unique edge to him. He's an individual character, you know. He's not someone that's following someone else's blueprint. He definitely feels uh, unique, at least to me. There may be someone that I'm not aware of who he sounds very much like, in which case, do let me know down below because I'd love to check them out. Um, but to me, he comes across very original, very unique in the way he's performing. <laughs> Even the fact that now, like this far in, we're starting to get additional kind of melodies rolling in again. This is a moderately long tune, 3 minutes 45. Considering the instrumental hasn't switched up that much, it's stayed pretty much along the same kind of uh, basic elements the entire way through. The only thing that seems to have changed a lot is the kind of vocal patterns. Occasionally, we get an additional layer of percussive energy rolling in over the top, but overall, this is staying pretty similar the entire way through and the fact it's remained um kind of captivating um the entire way through is crazy i've got to say big up um the production team behind this one as well but the overall approach to this solid uh really cool definitely tune i'd like to see played out <laughs> Now 
There we go. TG Amori on the video for this one. Again, every good video I'm seeing these days comes from TG Amori. Other people are making good videos as well, but I've never seen a bad TG Amori video. Um, I definitely need to reach out in some way, shape, or form and get a conversation going for the breakfast show. Uh, but there we go. Love the sounds of this one. I can understand why so many of you were keen for me to listen through it. Again, encapsulating and yet minimal. Uh, complete and yet stripped back. Crazy kind of uh, dissonant sounds going on throughout the middle of it and in the kind of themes of the tune. Like It's, it's crazy how much doesn't really match up, but does make sense at the same time really really cool again another good showing uh, portable Poco Lee and Olamide on this one with Zazu Zeh um, very much enjoyed it big up each and every one of you suggesting if you do have any requests that you would like me to get into do leave them in the comment section down below I do read every single comment that goes onto the page and on top of that don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turn some notifications on leave a like leave a comment all of that good stuff and we shall see you all next time peace but it's on in a bright and cold. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Cop Camp TV. Stay locked.